Krishna? Yes. How are you? I am splendid. <laughs> <laughs> and, and wishing you 50 trillion times more. <laughs> why are you so happy? <laughs> oh, why? Because yeah. I don't, you see, ultimately, even a thought, yeah. even, even a thought, has the capacity to perturb still space. So when we can touch still space and live in still space, then the only expression is life. Joy, the vivre of life. So you're happy all the time? I don't know even if I have the word happy. <laughs> Speaking to you, you're laughing and laughing and laughing. You are... <laughs> well, it is a gift to be alive, no? Number yeah, one. Yeah, sure. I'm not criticizing it, you know. It's so nice. I know. <laughs> I know. So, Krishna, tell me what, what, what are the results of our experiment with Robert Coxon? Oh, lovely. Okay. So, I have the screen prepared. Ah, so. Here is a lovely snapshot, and I will move it so that we get to see the whole picture. Hello. Starting. Then welcome, Madras. Welcome to Robert. Then there was music. Music ended. Then I think it was John Reed for about five minutes. Then the, there was meditation. From there was Song of Love. Then Robert and you dialoguing. Then it was me, item number 14. 14 went on to 15. What is so elegant here, the top chart that says intensity, that is measuring the level of photons. So you can see that it already began fairly high and then it's gradually began to increase. Then during the time of the meditation, it went up and it went up in the song also. And from there, it just continued to stay in that high state all the way till the end. When you say photon, you mean the number of photons? The concentration of photons. If, if there, there is a lot, let's say high concentration, it means what? It means that it is bright and it is stable. It is a stable grouping of photons. It is not chaotic. It is very organized. But just a minute. You just put electrode in the water? So if you go back to the picture that I sent you on the layout of the experimental table, you'll see a glass jar. You will see the water electrode inside the glass jar. And the water electrode's external terminal is connected to the bio well. Ah, okay. And every second there is an impulse which is recorded. So we are measuring the response of a stimulus of the environment. So when you look at this chart, each bar is five minutes. So mm -hmm. five minutes is 300 seconds. So in every bar, we are looking at 300 impulses because every second we get an impulse. Okay, so now what we see is the response of the water to the impulse. Yes. Let me just go back to uh, show you what the raw data looks like. So you can see the top chart is the photons that says intensity, bottom chart is energy, and the way at the bottom is what we call area deviation. So in the top chart, we take all these little points and then that is analyzed to give us the bottom chart, the area deviation, which is the actual statistical evaluation. You see at the bottom, all the little dots, second by second, how rhythmic it is like a wave, right? Each dot is one second. So we can see, welcome to Robert, that is folder number three. 
And now this is going on and going on and going on. Now we can just follow this like a rhythm. So now John Reed is there and he goes on and goes on and goes on. Now Robert begins with meditation and we see how each second there is uh, movement up and down, up and down, but very small deviations. The song of love begins, see, wave after wave. You see how it flows. What a beautiful rhythm. See, and this is very much an indicator about the nature of how the evening progressed. See, very, very, very stable, very peaceful. This is taken and created into each one of those orange bars. And if we looked at the first beginning at the bottom chart of area deviation, it started high and you see how instantaneously there was a response. So the lower the chart value at the bottom, the higher is the coherence. And you can see how uniform it is. The levels of fluctuations are very steady all the way right to the end. Such a rhythmic harmony, a rhythmic, harmonious evening. Can so, I ask you a stupid question? Uh, that's the most beautiful of all. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, Cindy, tell me. <laughs> tell me, you know, someone, let's say you take normal person and he say to himself, I don't believe. Yeah, water in Bangalore, people singing in, in you know, in, in Israel and all over the world. How, how it's possible that this singing is doing something to the water? This is my stupid question. <laughs> Actually, it is a very, it's a very deep insight you have brought forth because one we look at how narrow we have been educated in this way to only see things in such a small perspective my early formative education began with my dear mother who used to instill inside of me that when i'm lying down in bed at night to see yourself in this bed visually, then you see the room, then you see the space of the house and the compound in the house, then the town, then the state, then the country, then the continent, the oceans, and then you go across the entire planet all the time paying attention to you in here while you are expanding and expanding. Now you see the whole planet. And where do you see you? Maybe one tiny little dot. Now you go to the solar system with a group of all the other cohabiting planets. Now where are you? Now you go to the Milky Way. Now where are you? Then you go across all the other galaxies into the deep space that you are looking at. Now, where are you? But imagine through these tiny little eyes, you can see that which is beyond measurable time. So are we limited or do we have the capacity of what we would call the supramental mind. We are a cosmic mind. What are you doing, dear Sipi? What is your inspiration? Is to bring forth that exactly, that which you have termed the one field as one vibration, the one field, one vibration, to touch this integral space. We have to grow beyond the limits of our education. We have to go beyond the limits of our understanding. We have to go beyond the limits of thought itself. Of course, I understand the spiritual explanation you did so nicely now. 
Of course, I understand it, yeah. But I understand it in 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 a level of let's say of a spiritual mind. Now I want to put it to the earth, you know, very so you know this is a glass, okay? It's made out of I don't know what kind of material, yeah. Mm. So the, 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 the what? Silica, sand. Okay. Silica. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm breathing, you know, oxygen. So what I I'm, I'm trying to understand what is this material yeah that is connecting all material or maybe it's not material maybe it's the energy is material I don't know yeah but to, to try to understand the connection mm, but from the point of view of matter or maybe it's maybe it's it's not a good question what we stream is through the power of I come back to this center right here yeah what we stream from here ripples across gathers pockets like neurons firing we look at we look at the field and It is a field of neurons. Actually, it was a very interesting uh, finding that uh, was published not even about two months ago, that the whole space could be like the firing of neurons. So when higher vibration systems gather together, they conglomerate into firing nodes that continue to sparkle and ripple them out. So it means that this neuron, neuron you said, yeah? Mm. That, so it means one is connected to the other, there is connection between all ne- ne- neurons, that's what you mean? Yes, it, so th- this is like a gathering, it's like a gathering of all these convergent points and they come together, so which means there's high energy concentration. So when there are gatherings like this that come together, their, their responses are felt across space and time. What is 10,000 miles? It is not even a speck in space-time. That's who we really are. We are not beings limited or contained inside of space or time. This ripples because this is the language of the universe. It is language of soul. Mm. It is language of heart. Okay, so I now I want to show you my graph. Done. So this is the graph of the REG. In the medical care, the place where we were, I took it for four hours, you see, four hours, 16 minutes, 35 uh, seconds. This is all the time. I started one hour and a half before it's all begun. REG, when it's normal and there is nothing special, it's all the time moving in the middle. And very, very quickly, it went up. It means that in this place, Time, and all this time there was a field unified yes. field yeah all this yes. time yes correct Nothing because it's happened. outside it's outside of the parabola yeah we started at one you see the one you one uh-huh and mm-hmm. at 8:14 uh, robert was online this is the point john started his presentation at 6 this is the 25 minutes of Robert. Here he started the meditation. 11 people are singing together mm. oh, until 13. This is the time of people singing together. Mm. And then we continue. And 23 is Lily. She gave the explanation. Uh-huh. First. Uh-huh. And 26 is when we light the candle. Mm. And 31 we finished. We finished but We organized the place and the, the REG was going on. I find it very similar to what you did because it's starting from the beginning very high. Yes. Uh, this is 
very nice, very stable, very high all the time. You know, it's four hours all this. So it's very nice graph, the way I see. It's very elegant. Well, the, what this clearly identifies over here is higher vibration systems just continued to maintain that presence. Mm -hmm. I want to show you the graph of Professor Proctor. Ah, uh, okay. 1.6 to 1.9. You can see that space, air molecules, uh, has more uh, fluctuation yeah. than we see with water. Water by itself has much more stability as a medium than okay. air. However, the range of the fluctuation is quite stable. Also, entropy, there is this very high column and then it's going down and down and down. Mm -hmm. I find it very similar to what you did because it's like one stable line almost. Yes. So, thank you, Dr. Krishna.